Hello and welcome back to Black Dice Gaming. I'm James and today we're painting up some Golden Guard. Uh, the first colour we're going to be using here is Apothecary White. And um, we're just going to be painting the chest, uh, that sort of bulbous area uh, on the model. Uh, some of them it's a little bit less bulbous than the, uh, the first one there. Uh, but it's just the sort of stomach, the chest and the belly area. Uh, moving on to the second colour, uh, we used Talisar Blue and I've put that all over the skin area, so down his arms, uh, down the back of the, uh, the model and uh, indeed its legs. Uh, this is quite a deep, nice contrast pen uh, to use on the model. Uh, it's going to run into the recesses uh, and look quite nice. It's quite a rich uh, royal blue type colour. Just be careful to, to miss the areas that are going to be other colours later on and try and be careful especially around the stomach area. Uh, obviously this is quite a dark stain, we don't want to get it on the white of the stomachs. The blue is the majority of the model so by the time you get this finished it should be uh, almost uh, fully fast coated. Just making sure that we hit every part of the model that needs to be blue. With these slightly bigger 10mm uh, models, I do pre base them. Uh, and all I've done here is uh, put some paper down to cover the slot, super glued the model onto the base, and then put some PVA glue on to uh, attach some sand to it. That's the blue done. Uh, moving on now, we're uh, moving on to the gold. For that, I used a Vallejo game color. Uh, it's the metallic uh, Oro Glorious Gold. It's called Glorious Gold. Uh, I did thin it down ever so slightly. I fancied using something other than Retributor Armor. Uh, and this is quite a nice bright gold. So by the time we put a wash on it, it's going to turn it down slightly, but it's really nice and bright to start with. So it's this headdress that we'll be uh, covering, and most of them have uh, two bangles, I think, one on each hand. Uh, we'll be painting both of those in at the same time. can be a little tricky to reach, uh, as they do tend to wrap round. Uh, but just take your time, nice small brush, no rush. Again, careful not to get it on the blue. Just take your time, no rush. There's only four to do in a set anyway, so it doesn't take all evening to do these. gold does cover the blue uh, quite nice so it's important that you do the eyes first uh, they do have sort of open sockets where the eyes are so make sure you get some blue in there before you go ahead with the gold uh, but don't worry too much about being neat with the blue because the gold does cover it pretty well it was a little tricky getting it inside all the, uh, the little uh, gaps that are in the, the helmet uh, which is why you need, do need to water it down. That does help uh, fill those holes quite well. See, I noticed some holes there that I'd missed, so I went back and did them. There we go. So 
So we're just uh, using some metallic paint on the spear tips here and for that I used Iron Hands Steel. Uh, it's a nice sort of mid colour metallic. And it's just something different. You could have carried on with the gold and done the tip of the spear as well, but I think the, the silver looks better for spear tips. Uh, moving on now, we're doing the, uh, the shaft of the spear. And for that, we are using uh, snake bite leather, uh, which is a nice brown color. Uh, slightly lighter than uh, some of the other browns, but I like to move the colors up a notch. Uh, the blue is quite dark, so using lighter colors in other areas will really make the blue stand out. Careful as you go because you don't want to get the, uh, the brown on any, anything else. Uh, so now we're moving on, we're doing an all over Agrax Earth Shed. Uh, it's a great colour for filling in all those nooks and crannies, and it's the best colour for shading the gold. And uh, like I said, this is just going to bring the gold down ever so slightly. Uh, get into all the recesses so it creates uh, a lot more detail. Uh, I do go over the stomach at this point because I've changed my mind on how I'm going to do the stomach. Uh, but stick around, you'll see how I do it in the end. The apothecary white was just a little too grey and a little bit dark and a little bit streaky. So I needed to come up with a different different plan for that. But we'll fix that in the uh, highlighting stage which we're doing now. So what I'm using is Corax White. Uh, so it's not quite white, uh, it's not creamy. Uh, it's a, a, a very, very, very light gray or a slightly shaded white if you prefer, uh, but it's, it's quite a nice color. Especially difficult painting white, so uh, it was either that or Wraithbone, and I thought Wraithbone is probably gonna be a little too creamy. Uh, even though the Wraith Band would probably have done the trick just as well. Uh, you may have to give two coats on this uh, just to get a nice block colour. But it should cover that Agrax ass shade really, really well. And we're just leaving that in the, in the recesses surrounding the stomach. We're in the final stretch now. Uh, the highlights are the, the last parts, obviously. And there's just a few more highlights to do and then a little bit of detail work. So moving on now, we're doing the blue. And for that, I used Temple Guard Blue. Uh, worked really well with the Talisar. And basically all we're doing here is we're concentrating on the sort of raised areas of the model. There's little bum cheeks there. So we're mainly concentrating on, on all the muscle work, which on these models is, is really well sculpted, so you can really make out where it is. I'm just picking out some of the, the lumps and bumps on its back. And it seems to have like boils and things on the back. And we're running around along the, the fingers there uh, and the back of the hand. Uh, they're going to make a big difference if we, if we do highlight the fingers up. Again, trying to leave both the Talisar Blue and the Agrax Airshade in the recesses. So all we're focusing on is the absolute raised parts of the, uh, the model. Uh, once again, being very careful not to get it anywhere else. We don't, certainly don't want this on the, on the white that we've just been doing. And there we go. And now we're moving on. I used... Uh, well, I initially used Empress Children on the lips, but I didn't like it, it didn't cover very well, so I corrected that and I ended up using Wazdaka Red, uh, which is a kind of pinky red, but it's probably more red than pink. And the last part here, I'm just moving in, dotting the eyes with Flash Gits Yellow. And that is them done. 
Uh, if you have enjoyed, then please like and subscribe. Uh, I'm going to go into the showcase video now, and uh, there we are. These are the models in their glory. Uh, I did. There is a tongue on one of them. I did leave that in Emperor's Children, but all the lips that, that are on the models, I, I went and did the Wazdaka Red. Uh, but there they are on my little display board, which I knocked up in an evening. So please like and subscribe and follow for more Actoria from Spellcrow. Hopefully I shall catch you in the next one.